hey y'all it's your girl lala welcome back to my garden so guys today we will be harvesting some of my colored green leaves as well as my kale leaves and maybe some of my brussels sprout leaves right here's a little bit empty it's because i have been harvesting some of the leaves earlier this afternoon as well as some of my kale leaves you can see it's not as full i've been taking them off and sharing it with my family so right now we are going to be harvesting some of these colored green leaves look at this i love to look at the colored green plants they look so pretty look at them so beautiful so beautiful guys and these are so delicious these are perfect colored green plants okay and just break them off. As you can see it's very light now I freed up the space so what I'm gonna do with this one I'm gonna bring it back I'm gonna bring this one around have it rest on there okay so wow looking good looking good these are my cabbages and these are starting to head up Yeah, but they're doing it very slowly, but that's okay. And look at this, we had some wind. My papaya plant, see my papaya tree? It is resting on a younger papaya tree. So I'm gonna have to get some help from Mr. G to fix this one. So what I will be doing guys, a little bit heavy oh my gosh what I will do to free this papaya plant up I'm gonna take off these green papayas I love to cook the green papaya let's put it over here so this way oh yeah yeah gonna step in there it's easier this way it's easier to um, strengthen this papaya plant okay all right we are going to take off some of our kale leaves
when I can go directly to the garden whenever I'm ready to use them and get them. But look at this. The longer the leaves are on your plants, they will change colors, the bugs will come, the leaves will get a little bit harder and bitter, and you don't want that. You want to get your leaves as soon as possible, chop them up, put them in your freezer until you're ready to use them. The more you continue to water your plants, it will put out new growth and you will have more harvest to come. So to me, that's a big win situation. I'm trying to get as much harvest from my plants as possible. I suggest that you do the same. So there it is right there. My kales and my collards. I think I'm gonna leave the Brussels sprout leaves for now. I don't I don't think I need to touch these. These are okay. But those I know will be growing back so fast. So so fast. Alright guys, I'm gonna take you to the backyard and see what we need to do there. So let's go to the back. many of them that I missed I did not get a chance to come out and pollinate them because um, I've been busy and work and everything so I have missed a lot of them so I'm gonna be taking off whatever that's there and um, you know that whatever that can use inside the kitchen remember if you don't have bees flying around your garden pollinating your plants you have to manually pollinate your own plants okay so I'm gonna be taking backyard let me just show you real quick so these squash guys because I did not get a chance to pollinate them look at this no good okay no good so that is compost right there all right this one as well look at this compost this one as well look at that there's a hole in there holes worms Worms, my goodness. Anyway, I will be harvesting some of my parsley leaves. Once you have your parsley leaves this size, you want to go ahead and you want to remove them so that once you keep watering them, they will continue to grow. So that's what I will be doing right now. So here it is, guys. I've gone ahead and I trimmed off my parsley. Here it is. Now with the rain water and me watering this plant, hopefully it 